Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Seers of the Sea, where we have a birth underway, so I hope that you have caught up on the last episode and that you have glanced down into the guidelines linked in the video description below if you wish to know what's going on, because Shopri is ready to have her next baby! <gasps> no! Porcupine fish! Oh. My. Gosh. Her name is so perfect! She is a spiky bodied baby girl named Porcupine Fish who actually has doubled up home island immunity. That is so tragic. That is so tragic, my friends. Unfortunately, little Porcupine Fish is not looking well for this world. That makes me quite sad. Um, however, I actually think her spikes may entice Skipjack. He may think that that is quite the awesome thing to have on a mate when he gets back from exploring the other islands. But no! Poor porcupine fish. I was really hoping we would have like a, a healthy baby with fishing tail and everything. Uh, but she didn't even inherit fishing tail to pass on. So that's an interesting mix. Uh, oof, and I'm beginning to wonder if Ball Wave might actually need to potentially mate with Kai to try to make sure they don't lose the water line, so we'll have to see. Kai is falling in love with Nari, though, but she would try to do what is best for the tribe, especially, it's almost as though there's an omen from the Nishling gods here, with having sent Nari a warning about his particular lineage. Maybe it is a sign that he should set his eyes on children who are best for the tribe and love them as though they were his own and not have children of his own. Hmm. It's very interesting to see how the different prophecy pearls that they are given can change over time, isn't it? But all right, so. We've got a little bit of a, a, a drama going on here. However, Chapri is not going to let her get this down. She does understand that a sneezing baby is not a good sign, so she's a little bit more subdued than usual, as she and Bronze No Shell, who ironically is named No Shell, and his sister's, you know, Porcupine Fish, and she actually kind of has a bit of a shell with all those spikes, wait alongside the beach for Ball Wave's return. So we're gonna let Ball Wave swim up, and he is going to, like, open his arms up. Yes! And we are re ready for another baby already. It takes a long time for these babies to be born. Like, it takes six days, so we can only probably get a couple more out of these two before it's too late. That's definitely going to help control tribe size. Uh, but he's come to see what's going on, and he is supporting his mate in her time of alarm. They will do their best. However, a sickly baby, as everyone knows, must be banished onto just this island, for if they get into the water, it is believed that their sickness could spread into the waterways into all the lands. Which is superstition, of course, but such superstitions might also keep the tribe healthy. So they feel very conflicted about what's going on over here, the poor little family. Meanwhile, we have Skipjack, who has just found himself some lunch, and is going to do a bit of exploring on this island. And on the other end of this island, we have got Naru, who is going to carry on- oh boy, I think the vampire just got some ideas. <laughs> vampire just found herself a nest, I think that's making her narrow her eyes and think a little bit about Naru. I do really need to get her back over to that termite mound if we're ever going to be able to get her to the point where we can get vampire head. Uh, so we're gonna have to look into that. Or the bat head, pardon me, not vampire head. <laughs> All right, meanwhile, Nari is going to continue to try to kind of eat some of these squishy, squishy worms in the waterways. And Kai is going to join him and try to search along the waterways for shells. So that's what they're really looking for right now, to find more prophecies about the Nishlings and the tribe. So let's see what we find. No, I was gonna eat that. Oh, geez. All right, I'm still gonna eat that. Kai's very hungry. Ooh, and Nari found a leech at least. That would make him very happy. Uh, and then we'll have him come up and around. Kai also will come up and around. They'll continue their exploring of this little island. They are searching for shells. So they're actually searching the shores for shells. And I think a vampire wants to go back. Seeing this 
nest reminds her that she has something to do. So she's going to start heading back there. Naru is going to breathe a deep sigh of relief that she didn't get any ideas about mating or any of that uh, from this nest. Do we have normal? Okay, the peaceful bear is still chilling over there. Well, I think the peaceful bear is watching porcupine fish, so she might kind of step into the, the grasses, which the whole family thinks is safe, uh, to see what's going on. Ba Wave is going to dive back into the waters to see if he could find perhaps a healing underwater fruit for their daughter. And I'm going to let Shapri focus on the the quiet days of gathering uh, and have little bronze notion come along, come along, uh, join her. And then Skipjack is going to begin his solitary exploration of this little island to seek out a tree that just doesn't have that cranky shoppery under it. So hopefully that'll work out well. All right, back over to Kai and to Nari. We really do need more nichelings. So it probably is time to start working on babies. Kai is going to have a bit of an appetite right now though, because she is pregnant. And then we're gonna have Nari help out with feeding her. We really need like, maybe we need to go to one of these skinny islands that we can zigzag across frequently in search of shells. In fact, I think that these two are beginning to think they should jump across because there's like more shell searching spots uh, that they could kind of see there. And speaking of shell searching spots, yeah, Bawe is looking, but I really don't see anything to help us get into the water more. And then Skipjack just really wants to get on the other side. There we go. His tree! He has found an excellent tree and it has it's completely free of shoppery infection. So oh and little porcupine fish can hang out and she can she can play with the bear, which I think would make her very happy. Wonderful. And meanwhile, Bronze No Shell does want to spend a little bit of time swimming like his dad, but I will allow him to play with the worms for just a minute. And Shopri will just kind of quietly and humbly collect what she can find. The bundles are really getting quite, um, populous, that's for sure. Alright, we're gonna let Vampire wiggle her way over. And I think Naru's getting a little nervous about what she might be getting up to on her own, so he's gonna follow her. There we go. Alright, what next? Hmm. Very peaceful here, isn't it? I wonder if we, like, I kind of want to stay here for a long time, but we might need to go to Whale Island uh, sooner than later, and then from Whale Island go to another island, because I'm not finding enough shells. And we really need a lot of shells for our prophecies. Thank you very much. Hmm, Bob Wave's got 12 days left. Did he get bleached? No, he's been bleached! <laughs> Okay, he's got to like start staggering out of the water or else look at that Ray's arena. It was coming straight for him. Oh dear uh, So he might have yelled out. So we're gonna try to get over to him Anything over here? <sighs> Unfortunately not Can we get over here? There's a little pathway. Okay, so we're gonna have these guys come over to this island and continue to search the sandy shores. Also, Ball Wave did let out a yell, and he is kind of isolated on the island. He's sort of trapped on it, and we do need to go and help him if we can. I, I do think that that would actually quite alarm Shopri, and she would definitely want to be by her mate's side if she could. So let's have her wiggle this way. Um, Bronze No Shell, are you close to being able to unlock that little platypus beak? A platypus beak is 70 platypus digs! Oh my gosh! Well, enjoy playing in the mud, young one. I've got to get more babies going, guys. This is just not enough nichelings. My gosh. Uh, vampire? You know what? She knows what she wants. I would advise against it. But she's, she's, she knows what she wants, so we may actually have her destroy that, that, um, termite mound in just a second. And meanwhile, Skipjack is quite happy, because he has got lots and lots of food to enjoy right here. So he's gonna do a little island exploration over here. Maybe I split the tribe up too early, because there's a lot to do. Any more convenient orphans lurking in the shadows? Because I wouldn't mind. Uh, we aren't exactly repopulating ourselves as swiftly as I thought. Alright, so vampire. There we go. 
Vampire is going to very stubbornly continue to try to get those <laughs> those termites. Um, and I think Nari is going to kind of, th Naru is going to throw his hands up in despair. And be like, what are you doing? But he can't leave her unattended to play with like toxic termites. So he's keeping an eye on her. Porcupine fish is quite adventurous. I actually think she may not live, unfortunately, to adulthood long enough to become Skipjack's mate. Huh. Especially if pregnancy lasts so long. I may have really gotten myself up a creek on this one, friends. Not gonna lie. All right, let's go ahead and gather up that. Jeez, I'm really trumpet to old. I'm really grateful to old man trumpet. I'm really trumpet. <laughs> right about now because all of that food that he hoarded is coming in useful all right meanwhile kai she'll gather up a little food they're trying to get to ball wave so they can help him there we go oh the the razorina has gone huh or the the leech is gone that's interesting it just kind of like died and fell off for some reason well maybe it's because ball wave's awesome all right. Yeah, this is going to be a little tricky. We kind of need more babies. <laughs> like, stat. Oh, thank goodness, food! Oh, there's going to be an abundance of food. I think that would even distract Vampire from, from, like, eating everything that she was going to. And everybody can just enjoy the fruit for a minute. Thank goodness. Get No, when I said everybody could enjoy the fruit, I actually did not mean you little ones. But the good news is... We have just unlocked Nimble Fingers! And Shopri actually is the one who did it! So she gets a free Nimble Fingers! I was kind of hoping that a, a different nicheling would snag that instead, but that's okay. Why don't we have more Prophecy Pearls? I need more Prophecy Pearls. Also, did you guys get bleached? Huh. Somebody got bleached, but I don't see it anywhere. But wave, how much more swimming? Only five more swimming to water body. Actually, instead of letting Ball Wave do the swimming to unlock water body, I need to make sure Bronze No Shell unlocks it. Ha! Huh! And then he can pass on the water body to his child. Oh, that would be so useful. Oh my gosh. Okay, that would be very useful indeed. All right, Ball Wave. One, two, three. Nobody else swim. Well, I guess you can swim one more time, but then it's Bronze No Shell's turn. And that blessing will be passed on to him from his father. There we go. Skipjack's just enjoying the food and the peace and quiet. Uh, and then we've got Itty Bitty Little Pokepine Fish, who can just run around and be babysit by the stag moles. Alright, and meanwhile over here... Nari is going to keep trying to eat those delicious things. Kai, she needs to give birth. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, Kai, hang in there. Easy breathing. Oh geez, I, like a nut just fell on your head, Kai. Go ahead, get comfy. Here, you give birth right there. Okay, that'll be perfect. And Nari can just continue to try it. He got the new little worms. Huzzah. How close is he to getting platypus beak? We're 50 away. Oh my gosh, his grandchildren might inherit that. All right, let's see. So two swims. Hmm. Two swims, right? Water body, yes. Okay, this is gonna be a little tricky. One swim. One swim. Two swim. <gasps> he did it! So he unlocked, oh my gosh, yes! He unlocked both gills and water body. So bronze, no shell. May his name live on, inherited from his father's efforts, the knowledge of how to swim. He may not be very good at it, but at least his children's children's children will be good at it. Uh, meanwhile, Shapri also needs to give birth. That's what I get for not paying attention to that very well. And Bawave, I guess he can try to get these Rays Arena. I really thought in such a water-filled world, we would have more shells and we would have uh, quite... Well, actually, the shells were kind of over here, weren't they? Whoa! I may have done the wrong thing by going inland. We might set up shop along, like, one of the edges again and start exploring. Hmm. Noted. All right. Meanwhile, let's continue, which I think I... Yeah, I accidentally misclicked. We'll continue to do a little bit of exploring there. And then Vampire definitely is going to start eyeing up 
uh, the handsome Nadru. I really want her to unlock Vampire, like the bat head, before she does, though, because it's just so appropriate. So we'll let her work on that. Porcupine fish, you can play with the stag moles. There we go. Skipjack, you go ahead and start clearing out your new little territory. You're not going to want to be here by yourself with the bundles forever, so we will need to get, get moving at some point. But now, we should hopefully enjoy the birth of the first child between Kai and Nari, the two who have been touched by the gods of the sea and will hopefully have a seer child of their own. But what will this little one be? He's so handsome! Pepper, pep, whoa, what? <laughs> I think that my syllable maker has gone wrong. <laughs> May I introduce all of you guys to Periwinkle Orange Shell, who I think that they need to rename. <laughs> all right, Periwinkle Orange Shell. We're going to name you uh, Par, 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 Parshell? Parshell? Yeah, Parshell. There we go. There you go, Parshell. Uh, what a name. Welcome. Do you have any of- at all? You have beige fur. You do have recessive red horns, but you don't have actual horns that are red, unfortunately. You have great fertility. Fantastic. And you have nothing else that we need. Fooey. Alright, so that is Parshell, also known as Periwinkle Orange Shell. May my syllable mishmash maker be amazing. And Pacific, a boy, another baby boy. He's got fishing tail, yes. Uh, he too does not have any of the traits that we need for Sears. So Fui, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Once we get going, I'm sure we'll be able to breed up a Seer line. But at this point, we're just struggling to survive. So all right, my friends, now that we actually have some of our adults becoming elders quite soon, and we're still a long way away from a vampire being able to get the delicious, delicious termites and that bat head that she wants, we may have to begin to adapt just as the Nishling gods warned Kai that she may need to do in order to see to the future of this tribe. So, all right, I hope you guys are enjoying, and I really hope you're having a fun time with the stories. I would love to know who your favorites of our nichelings currently are. If you could, do please leave a like to toss a treat to our young new nichelings. May Periwinkle Orange Shell and Pacific enjoy being part of our tribe. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, then you guys know what to do. But most importantly, stay curious, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye